We talked to you earlier, but now that you've been in the system for, you know, four or five months, how are you adjusting? You better? How are you, become, how are you coming along? Uh, definitely a lot better than when I first got here. Um, being here does, does force you to be a smart basketball player, not just rely on athleticism or, you know, instinct. So I think that my understanding for the game has grown a lot since I've been here. Us some particulars of, of where you think you've adjusted best besides just you know the mental understanding of it it'll definitely be shot selection uh, my shots are starting to make more sense to me what's open what's what we don't need time and clock um, and I think off the court too I've grown a lot as a person and they've made sure of that so it helps me on the court as well so it's been overall development so when you come in and like even like going back to Italy when I think you led the team in scoring there and, uh, and all throughout the summer and fall. Um, were you worried at all, like, you know, I'm coming into a new team, but they're going to expect more of me you know, to make an impact? Was there any kind of adjustment there as far as, like, you know, worrying about stepping on people's toes or anything like that? Or was this just you being you and, and this is how I'm going to do it? Or? Um. Definitely, I had to think about what I was going to bring to the table because they were asking a lot from me, but it was something I asked for, you know? So it wasn't like, oh my gosh, like they want this from me. It's like, okay, cool, like I get to do this for them. And I don't think as far as stepping on people's toes, that's a concern I had. I think everybody here wants to win, and so there's no stepping on toes when you're doing everything to win, so. You say you grew as a person. Yes. In what, in what areas and what caused that? I mean, what, what, what made a change in you? Um, without having to get too deep in here. Um, oh, that's the fun of it. <laughs> is it. Is it really for you or for me? <laughs> but um, managing emotions and just having the right reactions to certain things going on in life and just not letting certain parts of your life pour over. And with that being said, like not suppressing certain parts of your life to where they become so much you can't manage. So. What opened your eyes? Um... I think a lot of conversations with my coaches and just them understanding me and me understanding them. Uh, we have a leadership group with Kellogg. It's me, Kaya, Destiny, and Celia. And Celia, I'm sorry, I had a teammate at Auburn, Celia, but um, CC. And we just talk a lot about like looking internally and how you have to lead yourself in order to lead others. So it makes you do a whole lot of searching within in those short 30 minutes. So I think those have helped me a lot. Coach Kellogg has, has said you, your offensive skills were always a given. But defensively, you thought you always had the ability, but you had to you know, show that play. It. Have, have you realized that? How, how improved are you defensively? Um, from the first time that I sat up here, I think I've come a long way. I think defense is becoming more fun for me. and I really want to learn more about how to be better instead of like, okay, like, what do I have to do to make this end so we can get back on offense? <laughs> like, <laughs> or even shoot the ball. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think my mentality towards defense has changed a lot since I've been here last. In practice, maybe with JJ and Jordan Harrison in terms of who can get the steal, who can, who can pl apply the most pressure, how do you guys compete in that regard? Um, I think we just play off of each other. Like I said, like I'm becoming more defensive minded. I'm watching them, seeing how they get how they get steals, how they get deflections, because it's not something I fully understand yet. So I think just like learning from them and watching them, like I have two great teachers, like they're great at defense. So I think I had no choice but to step my game up, regardless. Then I mean, is it angles, speed? What is it that they do that you want to replicate? They dictate. They don't react. Mm -hmm. Like if they want you to go left, you're going to go left. Like there's no coming right. You know, so instead of I'm a reactor, you go, you cross over, I'm going to be there. But like, I didn't make you do that. They make you do things. So I'm just learning the angles and how to be there. See, one of the, uh, like one of the talking points about women's college basketball is that the, you know, the top eight, top 12 teams kind of gobble up all the talent for the most part. Um, you know, you saw South Carolina playing at Auburn. You saw LSU, you know. Yeah. You know what those teams look like. Um, your feel for this West Virginia team, where does it sort of fit in to what you've experienced? 
We're right there. Yeah. I think that um, it has to do a lot with the coaching. You know, you look at these great teams, they have great coaches. And great players want to play for great coaches. I think we're right there. Size, talent. Talent, IQ, drive, hunger. Everything. Yeah. About the um, leadership group, you said it was you, CC, Destiny, and Kaya. Kaya. So that's yeah. three out of four of you guys are newcomers, correct? No. I don't know. Is Destiny a newcomer? Yes. She's been <laughs> here, but like, <laughs> it's me and CC are, are newcomers. Uh, what does that say about you guys? And, and is, is that how it works? Like, do you guys have that voice in the locker room? Um, it's a good question. I mean, we all have very different personalities. Some of us stronger than y'all, than others. I think the leadership group is more so like us learning how to like, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, you know this, come on. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say distribute, but like allocate. No, no, two big words. Yeah, let's use those two. Those sound right. Um, our attention to, I think that one of my big things when I came here is I really wanted to lead. I think my freshman year, I was a freshman coming into, you know, older team and my coach wanted me to lead, didn't show me how. And I definitely um, voiced that to Coach Kellogg. So I think that's what that really is for. Miami kid playing in Alabama. West Virginia's a good bit different. How have you adjusted? Just culturally and... It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was in my puffer coat like two days ago. <laughs> um, it's a big difference. I've never been this far north. Like, the people are different. Food's different. I look outside. It's very different. When I first moved in here, I think there was a groundhog outside of my door. I was like, what is going on? Um, I mean, it's cool. I think that... You give me a ball in the court and I'm happy, you know. I like my team. I like my house. <laughs> There's not much to not like about West Virginia. The fans are great. So I think it's been a pretty easy adjustment. Anything you truly miss other than maybe warmer weather in the winter? or I mean, From Miami? Yeah. I miss the beach. I miss the food. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my dog. <laughs> Uh, my stepdad's Haitian, so I used to always make him go get me like some Haitian spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. <laughs> so uh, also, you know, my grandma's, I, I hate to say it, it sounds so bad, but when I come home, I put them to work. <laughs> 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 like, so what are we cooking today? I'll do the dishes, I'll, I'll do whatever, I'll set the table, just please cook, I'm coming over. So that's what I definitely you miss. 40 pounds when you go home? Uh -oh, Muscle. <laughs> so we're gonna call it. <laughs> Good.